So the Gabon journey was a very exciting journey for us. It took two years until it reached, say, the mass. And through that experience, we actually learned that two things. One, that you've got to invest into the people. So we invested heavily again into Safarna and building a good team, a great culture. And that's followed through to build a good brand within a year. And second was to focus on the consumer. So we invest a lot into the technology that talks to the consumer in, in the right way. And through that, we've built a very good brand in Safarna so far within the first year. So Google players are trying to create a product that fits all countries and cultures and, and markets around the world. Versus with us, you know, we've taken a look at the KSA market, we've taken a look at the UAE market, we've seen what consumers like and you know, what the optimum experience is. We've built a product and experience and developed content around that, that we can make the best possible travel experience for people in this region and provide, uh, provide certain things that others can't, like cash on delivery or e EPP that other global players aren't doing. So in that respect, you know, creating a, market, a product that really fits this market and creates a great experience that others can't because of like, their scale and global reach is, you know, is something that's, you know, that we definitely have a benefit over. So obviously with a, with a background in data deals, and that was where our expertise in building technology was, when we looked at travel, and the technology in the travel market has continually evolved over the last, um, over the last few years in terms of travel, travel man or channel managers, uh, bed banks, and all these different technologies that we had to spend, uh, we had to get our team to investigate or work alongside to really figure out how we could build the best product around. So we're kind of entering a new dimension of, of things to build and infrastructure to create. And kind of coming from that daily deals background and, and setting up that infrastructure was probably one of the bigger challenges for us. Particularly in the market that we operate in, the Middle East, the travel sector is growing quite a lot. I mean, every week you're seeing a new hotel opening or a new major event. You have two major events coming up in the coming years, which is Expo 2020 here in Dubai, and then you have the World Cup in Qatar in 2022. With that in mind, you see tourism numbers growing exponentially in the next 10 years. So you look at a hub in which the base of brand where this region is about to go global was a huge opportunity for us. We did a massive research report in 2011 which showed that the travel market in three markets, so the UAE, Saudi and Egypt, is worth $35 billion a year. So that's a very nice market to go after. And what's most interesting about that market is that 90% of that market is still consumed in cash. That means only 10% of consumers are actually paying online. So 90% of those consumers are actually going to travel agents and buying their ticket and paying by cash, which means there's a huge demographic that haven't even booked through an online travel agency. And that's what Safarna wants to be. We want to be a hybrid model where we're going to bring those consumers that are currently paying through cash and bring them online. And we're going to be here for a long time. So the next 10 years are going to be very exciting. One of the more exciting exciting startups I've seen recently is White Payments, uh, who've been kind of bringing a Stripe-like model where it's very easy to drop into products and set up payments. Um, oh, well, I mean, I'm also like relatively fresh off the boat once here. It's my first time allowed outside, so um, let me see. Um, Don't edit that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send a message to the others. Um, <laughs> I like uh, the financial comparison site, so you see uh, Compare For Me, you see uh, Souk Al Mal. I think that's a very exciting space to be in. Um, and you're going to see, I think, a lot more mobile products in the region. So it's what we're seeing, for example, with our site is that the majority of our traffic is actually coming through mobile devices. So I think uh, you're going to see a lot of exciting mobile startups.